Hi, welcome to Mark's Bookmark Books. My name is Mark, and these are 10 books I'm looking forward to this summer. They're all coming out between June and August, and they're all standalone books or the first book in a series. First up is Nine Fox Gambit by Yoon Ha Lee. Yoon Ha Lee is a great short fiction writer, and this is his novel length debut. It looks to be a good old fashioned space opera. A disgraced general is forced to team up with an undead tactician, who is a genius but who also willfully wiped out his lost army. So that's gotta be an interesting dynamic. On top of that, the technologies seem to be based on which calendar the civilization is following, which, ah, that sounds completely crazy, so I'm very curious about that. Next up is Escapology by Ren Warom. Now, the summary of this sounds like box standard cyberpunk, where you have a real-world loser who is a genius online and who then has to steal something for their ex. Okay, so that's not, that's not too interesting, but the interesting thing is that Ren Warom is a writer of New Weird, and this book has been described as a New Weird cyberpunk novel, and that does sound interesting. And, you know, there is a huge uh, digital shark on the cover, so it has that going for it. Night of the Animals by Bill Brown looks to be a literary novel, but with a lot of speculative elements. The story takes place in one night in the future, in like the 2050s, I think, and follows a homeless man as he roams the London Zoo, freeing the animals who he thinks are talking to them, because he's hearing, he's hearing voices in his head. At the same time, there is this weird suicide cult who is determined to kill all the animals or something. The, the blurb also mentions Noah's Ark. It sounds suitably weird and interesting. Then there's Vigil by Angela Slatter. I'm really interested in this one after reading her a Tor.com novella of Sorrow and such, which is one of the better novellas in, in, in that line. And I don't think this one takes place in the same universe though. The story follows Verity Fastbinder, who had a human and a supernatural parent, and so standing in both worlds, she is uh, tasked with keeping the peace between them. Uh, and of course, at the beginning of the novel, uh, things are going wrong. There is a, a fragment in the description which really spoke to me. Uh, but now sirens are dying, illegal wine made from the tears of human children is for sale. Wow, that, that just sounds so creepy. Hunters and Collectors is a second book by M. Sudain. And his first one, Theater of Gods, was just absolutely bonkers crazy, full of weird ideas and like one after the other after the other. It was a bit too much, but it was very, very fun. This book about the universe's most feared food critic, who is on a quest to find the secretive ultimate hotel with the best service, but which is ruthlessly enforced. It sounds a bit more uh, uh, subdued, but, you know, still pretty crazy. The Devourers by Indra Das already came out in, uh, I think only in India, but maybe also other territories. Uh, this basically got my attention because it's described as queer werewolves in India. So, yeah. There's also a story within a story, so it switches between the present and the past. And there are other folkloric aspects, apparently, from not only India, but other cultures. It has been getting really great reviews, and I'm really looking forward to reading this one. I know absolutely nothing about the actual story in Alejandro Zambra's Multiple Choice. But what I've learned is that it's entirely written as a standardized test. And apparently it works. And that's just... That sounds so unique if it actually really does work. And that I'm, I'm really intrigued by it. Moving into August, there's I'm Supposed to Protect You from All This by Nadia Spiegelman. 
Now, Nadia Spiegelman is the daughter of Art Spiegelman, the, uh, the author of Mouse, one of the most famous graphic novels, which deals with uh, the Holocaust and, and the Second World War. But it also deals in large part with um, the author's troubled relationship with his father, who was traumatized by, by World War II and, and the Holocaust. And so this book is actually a, a memoir by Nadia Spiegelman about her relationship with her mother and more so also the relationship between her mother and her grandmother. And as you can tell by the title, these were also very troubled relationships. So that's a very interesting sort of metafictional hook. Uh, for if you're a fan of, of, of Mouse, uh, but also the critiques have all been very, very good, and even without that context, this sounds like a very, a very good book. Okay, so this one was a complete no-brainer. New China Mieville novel, The Last Days of New Paris, which takes place at the onset of World War II, when there is a surrealist bomb which is set off in in Paris, turning it into a weaponized, dreamlike landscape. Okay, so typical naval weirdness. I'm completely on board for this. The last book is Ghost Talkers by Mary Robinette Kowal. And this one is about the First World War and uh, a division of psychics who contact deceased soldiers to gain intelligence about the enemy front, which is a really clever idea, and it has it has so much potential for metaphysical exploration, and but also for a lot of emotional heft. As I haven't read any books by Mary Robinette Kowal yet, but I've enjoyed her short fiction, and I'm looking forward to starting reading her books with this one. So, what do you guys think of these books and which ones are you looking forward to in the, in the summer? Please let me know in the, in the comments below and if you like this video and would like to see more of them, please hit subscribe. Bye!